the Silver Cup Handicap Chase is next in. And we're still at Ascot. And we'll take a look at the full list of them as they come through. It's a three mile Nought to 130 this time, and special cargoes at the top for David Robertson. Florence Nightingale for Paul Rhodes, Stroll Wigmore for James Shea, Gallagher Origin, Martin Needham, Wilder Smiles for Darren Thompson, Jay's Doll Stall, James Shea, George O'Keefe, Paul Rhodes, Leighton Damage, Daniel French, Neo Branova, Martin Needham, Radia, David Hooney, Breakout, Leon Van Rensburg, Gypsy King, Alex Cherry, Eric, Annie Walker, and Deep Reflection for Thomas Rogers, and Steeple Jack Lad for Graham Clutterbuck. They're off and racing. Quite a few previous winners in this should be a pretty hot race this and they get to the first and they are all safely over the first and they've got 19 more to take and the front running Neo ran over is the leader pulling for a head she's already won twice this season but they were in hunter chases so she's taking a step up in class today and gets over that one nicely does like to bowl along in the lead if they give her too much of a lead she might just slip the field but this could be a little bit tough this time after a couple of fairly easy wins in Hunter Chases, but they're already over the third, and the old run over is clear by about four or five lengths to Radir in second as they get down to the fourth. Good jump there by Jay's Doll Stall. We've seen that one jump into second. Radir is third. Gallagher Orange is up there in fourth. That was a, a Cheltenham Festival winner last season, and George O'Keefe is after that one. Then Gypsy King and Deep Reflection. Florence Nightingale is after that, and Breakout and Wilder Smiles. Come towards the back, Strong Wigmore is just about the back marker. But they've got a long way to go. And the pace is a good one being set by Neo Ranover, who's five lengths clear of Jay's Doll Stool in second. And Rod here in third as they get over the fifth, and the leader jumped that one really well. The one that didn't jump it very well was Strong Wigmore and got rid of the jockeys. They get to number six, and they're all over that one. And another couple of mistakes towards the back there. One of the um, Paul Rose horses didn't jump it too well they are going at a tremendous pace the cameraman having to pan right out to get most of the field in but Neo run over skips over number 8 well clear mistake by Jay's Doll Stall in second Radir has now moved into second as Jay's Doll Stall drops back to third deep reflection has been a fall away out of shot as well I think that one had already made a mistake or two as well so they're coming down then to the final two miles of the race then now and Neo run over has put the pace to the race and it's taken the t its toll on some of the runners, two of them already out of it, unseated the rider going a little bit too quickly as they get to the ninth and the old run over jumped that one nicely the rest of them get over it okay as well Radi is in second and Jay's Dolstool is third Gypsy King is four and then Annie Walker is five and then Florence Nightingale and the Steeplejack lad and then Special Cargo and George O'Keefe, Gallagher Origin on the outside then Breakout, Wadi Smiles and finally Latent Damage is the back marker, this one will be the last next time round, the old run over's lead is down to a length in now as Radi comes to challenge on the outside Back in third is Jay's Doll Stool. Then comes Gypsy King in fourth. As they make their way past the winning post, past the stand. You can see the Royal Box in the middle of the stand there. They pass the winning post now and they'll swing right handed for another complete circuit and Neo ran over is in the lead but only by a neck to Radir in second and there's a four or five length gap back to Jay's Doll Stool is in third Gypsy King is four and Annie Walker is five then comes Florida Nightingale six and Special Cargo seven Breakout is next and then Gallagher Origin and Steeple Jack Ladd and then Georgia O'Keefe latent damage and finally Wada Smiles is the back marker racing down towards the next then and Neo run over and Radir dispute the lead. We've jumped it nicely. Over in third was Jay's Doll Stool. Gypsy King looks to be going well. Annie Walker is also on the premises. The first of the Greys is Special Cargo. And it's still Neo run over coming to this plain one. It's over it nicely. Radir in second. Jay's Doll Stool third. And Gypsy King fourth. The one that's starting to struggle at the back is latent damage. Racing down towards the 13th, this is another ditch. And the old run over got over it nicely in front again. From Radir in second, Gypsy King is third, Jay's Doll Stool is fourth, and Annie Walker is fifth as they get to another one. And over that one they all go. And the field beginning to close now, we need a bunch up, but the leader is still a couple clear. Neo run over from Radir in second, Annie Walker's creeped up into third, then comes Jay's Doll Stool, Gypsy King Breakout is now making a forward looking move, Gallagher Origin going around the outside as well, Florence Nightingale and Georgia O'Keefe are still there, and there's still plenty of chances, wouldn't rule any of these out, even latent damages now, 
running on nicely against towards the back, probably only 10, 12 lengths off the leader. Coming out of this 15th, um, Neo run over, joined again by Radia. So these two have had a good battle for the lead. They come to the 16th then now, and Neo run over, landed over in the lead. Mistake there was by Georgia O'Keefe, but it's Neo run over on the inside. Jay's Noel Stall up this final ditch they go. Neo run over got a bit nicely. Here comes Gypsy King in second. Jay's Noel Stall is third. Right here, back in fourth. This is a third for a moment. Neo run over got over it nicely. He's being chased there now by Gypsy King. Right here is trying to run on again. Gallagher and Rogers trying to come round the outside. Georgia O'Keefe's trying to get into it as well, but they've got two more to take, and Neo run over has in the lead all the way. Leads by about four lengths to Gypsy King in second. Jay's Doll Stool, Georgia O'Keefe, Gallagher Origin, Florence Nightingale running down towards the second last now. Three furlongs to go. And Neo run over, comes to it, gets over it nicely. The field are beginning to close out. Look at this Leighton Damage run on really well now, moving into second. But it's Neo run over in the lead. Leighton Damage is in second, past the two furlong pole they go. They've only got one more fence to take. And it's Neo run over in the lead from Leighton Damage. Gypsy King, Jay's Doll Stool, Georgia O'Keefe and Gallagher Origins between these up the final fence. And that's where Neo run over makes an only mistake. And Gypsy King goes on wide here, smalls and stroll with more out of it. It's now Gypsy King and Leighton Damage. Leighton Damage takes it up in the final half and on his late and damage who's suddenly half length clear but now Gypsy King fights back on the inside and Gypsy King gets back in the lead Gallagher Origin is Gypsy King that takes it from late and damage in second Gallagher Origin a big race in third and the field will trail back to special car going out in Walker and it is a win for Gypsy goes a steward's inquiry as well but Gypsy King keeps the race um, jumped the last really well. So Gypsy King, the winner for Alex Cherry, late and damage for Daniel French. Came from absolutely nowhere. Looked like it was going to win in the final half furlong. That one was second. Gallagher Origin for Martin Leland was third. Jay's Doll Stall for James Shea, fourth. Annie Walker for Thomas Rogers. Ran on well to finish fifth. And a long time leader, Neo ran over, just ran over the last fence and then dropped right out of it.